<sighs> oh, hi. Uh, this is for Ayla. A lovely tutorial on how to use basic Reaper functions, like from your first startup. Like if you open a project and have no idea what you're doing uh, for the first time, this is going to help you out. So let's open up Reaper. And this is, as far as I know, pretty much the default layout. It's a different theme than the default, but uh, it's pretty simple. I mean, you have your track area, your time area, another track area that's not really necessary, but I like to have it anyway. And here's like your master volume and pan. Um, if you adjust a knob and you don't like where it is, you can double click to reset it to the default. Just a little tip there. So let's say I want to add uh, just a track. You can double click over here, or you can right click and hit insert new track or anything like that. Um, just basic selection. To delete, you just hit the delete key. That's pretty simple. Uh, to insert, I'm going to select the track. To insert like a MIDI item, you go up to insert new MIDI item. And then, of course, you can edit how long that MIDI item is. I usually go with about eight measures. And then to edit your MIDI item, you can just double click on the item itself. Uh, you have basic MIDI control transport over here. And then to insert a note, you just click and drag. Pretty basic, let's not snap to 1 64th, let's snap to 1 8th, how about that? Okay, and then this little uh, bar here is your loop point. So let's set it to be a four measure loop. Let's go with C, E flat, C, mm, let's try C, and then G, and B. Nice little uh, seventh there. Cool. So there you go. Um, beat one, beat three, measure two, measure two, beat three, you know, basic idea, and then measure two, beat two, and all that stuff. So that's nice. Uh, and then if you select all, and there's a little handle right here to edit the velocity of this note, which is kind of like basic volume, but a little bit different. Um, and then if you hit Control F2 on Windows at least, it'll bring up your note property so you can type in the velocity. Let's go with 100 out of 127. Okay, so right now if you hit play or spacebar, nothing is going to happen. No sound's going to come out. I mean, it'll play, but there's nothing happening. Uh, MIDI only has no information. It has no actual audio information to it. So to make it make a sound, you hit the FX button. And then let's go to my favorites. And let's open up uh, my favorite synthesizer, which is Surge. So select Surge, hit OK. Cool. Let's try loading, please. Come on. 1999. It's coming up fast. Uh, so then you can click. And I have a huge set of my own sample, or not samples, my own patches that I've made. Um, so now, let's see how it sounds. Okay, that's nice and all, but it's a bit slow. So down here is your beats per minute. Let's type in 150 and see how that goes. Um, to zoom in and out, you can just use your scroll wheel um, uh, and your mouse if you're hovering over this track area. Otherwise, it will scroll the track list here or the track list here. Um, anyway. To loop, there's a little loop button, so it'll loop clearly. Just play and definitely loop after the end of the project. Uh, go back to the beginning, of course. So that's cool and all, but uh, what if I want to add like an audio file? Well, uh, yes, that is what I want. Here's some vocals I've processed of my brothers. Uh, these are at 108 beats per minute. So actually, let's delete this and go to 108 BPM. I forget what key it's in, but I write by ear anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So you just drag and drop, that's fine. Uh, I dialed your number on the way to your house. 
to edit the beginning or the end, you just click and drag and it's slip editing, which means if you drag over like this, you can still drag back so it doesn't like cut as you drag uh, your ends of your notes or your um, items. And then of course for MIDI, not of course, that's, yeah. Anyway, for MIDI, it will keep looping or it will also loop for audio files as well. So you see your little loop point here, little notch. So let's delete this because it's in the wrong key. I think this is the key of E or G or something. I dialed your number. I dialed your number on the way to your house. I pulled off of the highway. I fell apart. I had to tell you. I think that we need some time out. Okay, that's great, but a little too basic. Let's switch up the rhythm. Uh, to, whoa, to select like a marquee sort of rubber band select, you can right click and drag uh, to select multiple notes. That's a lovely little tip it took me forever to figure out. I dialed your number on the way to your house I pulled off of the highway I fell apart, I had to tell you I think that we need some I dialed your number on the way to your house I pulled off of the highway I fell apart, I had to tell you I think that we need some time off Maybe I... Cool, um, to add tracks to the master, or effects to the master track This is your lovely little master track here Or you can hit Control alt m I believe, yes To show it here and you can hit the little effects button and add like a master limiter sort of thing uh, to keep you from maxing out, as you could see, it was maxing out a little bit. So now, I doubt uh, if you hit the button here, it will turn them off or like toggle your tracks, uh, your effects on and off. You can also toggle here as well for each track. I dialed your number on the way so to your house. It red I pulled off of the highway. I fell apart, out. I had to tell you. You always want to keep everything below zero decibels, always. Um, otherwise you'll end up clipping when you actually go to render. So this is a lovely little mastering limiter that will just uh, cut your audio. Um, I don't like that there. So cut your audio down a bit so it won't pass that uh, zero. Or actually I have it set to point 0.3, negative point 0.3 decibels here, negative point 0.3. I dialed your number on the way to your house. Okay, cool. Uh, we can double click to add another track. Uh, if you see that little notch uh, between, that makes this a folder, uh, the blue bar, a folder, or you can like a subfolder track thingy. I don't know. It, it, you can group tracks that way. That's the basic idea. Uh, so let's add another instance of Surge. Let's see, what should we go with now? Mmm. Mmm. Uh, I like the Mein Kampf bass. Haha. <laughs> yes, that is what I named it. I program all of these. I So there you go. Um, let's go to preferences. Just take ooh, pardon, a basic look. Uh, under device, you want to set your audio system devices, which I usually use Wave Out, whatever. Uh, that's just bullshit. And here you can set your input device for, say, a microphone. 
Uh, the default should be fine if you're using your microphone on like a MacBook or something like that. But here, uh, under VST, you want to set your VST pads. Um, for Windows, it's usually C drive program files Steinberg. For OS X, I have no idea what it is. The default should be okay. Um, or if you hit auto detect, it will scan the computer apparently for a default VST directory. So if there's nothing here and you can't get any VSTs, hit auto detect and then rescan. Um, rescan to remake the cache of what's going on. Um, so that's pretty basic to render. Go to File and then Render, or hit Control Alt R, and then input uh, the master mix is what you want. Probably the entire project, or if you have a time selection, you can choose just to render the time selection. Um, or whatever your directory, your file name, and then you can also choose what format. Wave is probably best. Flack is good too. Uh, both of those are lossless, as well as AIFF, AIF, I don't know how they would pronounce that, but that's fine. Uh, yes, yeah, so these are just other options. I always go with the resample mode as 512 point, high quality sync. Um, and then just, well, let's go to desktop, you know, let's title it titties.wave. Cool, titties.wave. Let's actually make a selection and render just that. Render, do, 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 rendering, do, do, cool. Then you can hit launch file, show in Explorer, show in Explorer will show it in the Explorer. Um, and you can close that and you have it rendered. So now if you go to your desktop and open shit up, I dialed your number on the way to your house I pulled off of the highway I fell apart, I had to tell you Cool, so that's that. You can then convert it to mp3, you can put it on Facebook, you can throw it at your grandma, whatever. Um, and that is that. So, a super duper basic Reaper usage. Cheers, have fun. I hope this wasn't too long. Go have a cookie. You made it.